I just came out of a, a pretty darn gnarly slump. One of the worst depressive episodes I've had in so long. I've just been in hiding. Like I, I literally just, Disappear. I'm fine. Everything's fine. All I know is that I'm back and I am stable again. Yeah. But am I really? Because I'm about to chop my hair off. So. You wanna know what's been way long overdue? For me, at least. A fucking glow up. I haven't had a glow up since high school. I'm fucking 22. I know. <gasps> I know. No, I'm a whole ripe 22 years old. But if you think about it, I've only really been in the real world for four years. So technically I'm a four year old adult and that is a toddler. So why did I, why did I start talking about that? Oh, glow up, right. I just, I need one. I just want one. So we're gonna, we're gonna start one now. And how are we gonna do it? We're gonna start with a haircut. Yeah, I could I get it? All right, anything else I can That's all. That's all gonna be five times the end of the window. Thank you. Oh yeah, that was a perfect script. Thank you. Me too. There's like no one out and about. I am the unemployed friend who hits people up on a Tuesday at like 2 p.m. Cheers. I am the most unhealthy human being. I don't look like it, but consistency doesn't even exist in my life. I don't have a morning routine. I don't have a night routine. I don't work out. I don't eat healthy. I don't watch what I'm eating. I don't have a hobby that I like keep up with. I just keep jumping from hobby to hobby. Like I struggle in almost every aspect of my life. Someone needs to hit the reset button. I need to reboot. I feel like I'm just wired to do the wrong thing all the time. I want to start like a wellness series because I feel like that would help me and it would also help whoever's watching. Like it would motivate other people. And that's really what I want to do now. Like, and I'm not only going to try to change physically, but also mentally. So we're just going to do a glow up video today. And you're literally witnessing history here. This is me out of a, a depressive episode. I'm just so fired up and motivated. I know it's not going to last, but for now, we're just going to glow up physically and hopefully that will just keep me motivated. <laughs> I have no advice. Like, I wish I could sit here and give you guys advice if you're struggling with being consistent and just being healthier overall. But I have nothing and I'm here to tell you. If you're out there thinking like, I too have really bad days and don't get up and I don't take care of myself, just know, bitch, I'm right there next to you. I'm sitting right there next to you and I'm probably even worse. So keep an eye out for the next few months because we're going to blow up, okay? I don't know. I'm nervous. Okay, I'm going to go in and I'm gonna be a different bitch. I'm gonna be a different person. Hopefully, hopefully. So my camera decided to do a really rude thing and cut the audio off. But my hairstylist slayed my hair. She did it so perfectly. I was going for a clean girl aesthetic. I wanted to look like I had my life together. You know, fake it till you make it. I bought these glasses solely for today because I wanted to look like Edna Moe. And every time I get this hairstyle, I just think of her. <laughs> Getting a haircut just fishes me right out of a slump. I swear. I forgot to give you guys a proper outfit of the day. So we're going to do that. Don't fall. Oh my God. Okay, look, this is what it looks like. Some guy is literally doing push-ups on the floor. I'm confused. I kind of want to run. Oh my God, there's a person. Okay, I'm going. There's literally some guy down there and he's acting weird. He's doing push-ups in the middle of the road. If he could see me, I know it. I wanted to give you guys one of my classic outfit of the days on the stairwell, but that guy was being weird. Okay, here's the outfit. It's so much cuter with my hair short. I wore sneakers, but I just thought this matched so much better. But yeah, this is outfit. Cute, isn't it? So I welcome you to the most humbling spot in my apartment. My bathroom floor. I do my skincare routine on my bathroom floor under the sink right next to my toilet. I literally saw a TikTok of Kristen build a vanity from Amazon and it was like origami, like it was paper, like it just toppled over. And ever since then I was like, you know what? The bathroom floor, it is effective. It works. 
to the left here i have a cute organizer over here i got it from target it was like 15 20 dollars or something and i have my cute little strawberry tj maxx bag here that literally gives me serotonin just because it has strawberries on it hair care products in the back my straightener my blow dryer micellar water and to the left over here yes we've got bathroom products i know skincare next to bathroom products it's a recipe for disaster it's like but i swear my skin is fine like it you know as long as i'm not rubbing this shit on my face anyway okay anyway this is my proudest part who needs a vanity when you have a command strip a hook and a mirror hmm I can't take the credit for this. My best friend literally taught me this. I like this a lot. I would prefer the bathroom floor over a vanity. It's so fun too. I like to feel like... So I did want this video to be like a self-care day and a glow up day. So actually I'm gonna take off my makeup. I feel like I should have done my makeup and my nails on camera. This video is supposed to be a glow up video and I'm just taking my makeup off. <laughs> We're trying to glow up mentally, so you can't really see that part. This is literally just a hangout YouTube video. This video has no structure. I don't know. I kind of just made a hair appointment today so that I can get out of this stupid slump. And it's working so far, I feel good. No wonder I kept doing my hair back in the day. It just made me feel better. And that's really how I get out of a depressed episode. But that's not healthy. Making impulsive choices to get out of bad mental state is not healthy. Like I should go outside and touch some grass, right? Or read a book. I just like being a mess. I, I hit the self-destruct button all the time. You guys know me, I am socially awkward as fuck. It's four hours later and I'm still vividly thinking of the haircut appointment and like the conversations me and my hairstylist had. I love her. She's so freaking nice and she's so pretty. She's gorgeous. Yeah, I just wanted to say that. But she gave me this texturizing spray. If you guys want to try this out for yourself, she gave me this for free because two of you guys went to get your hair cut with her. I was speechless. I'm literally speechless. Sometimes I forget I'm an influencer and like being an influencer means you influence people's lives. And the fact that two people went to her to get her hair cut because I went to get my hair cut with her, that's crazy. People watch my videos around here. People watch my videos, period. Like Bombshell in Ellicott City if you're in Maryland. Her name's Tina. She does me well, okay? She has not failed me once. She knows what she's doing. Rebecca's changing her style again for the thousandth time like it's not so much like changing it but become serious with an aesthetic just ready to settle down on an on an aesthetic because i feel like jumping from aesthetic to aesthetic it was cool at first but like by a closet makes no sense i just really want to go simple now i literally didn't plan today so let's go to my desk and just scroll through pinterest and i'll show you what kind of style i'm gonna go for it's fun scrolling through pinterest it kind of stresses me out because why the fuck does everyone look so good if i'm on it long enough i'll start crying i love looking at all the pretty things it just makes my brain tickle all right let's scroll through pinterest i freaking love this website you can kind of tell like what my style is about to be for the fall just by scrolling through my pinterest like plain clothing with no graphics if i'm feeling spicy i'll throw on a fire pattern but for the most part i just want to look like this or something super simple like that so clean hence why i got this haircut just because it's so clean anyways this is another great example of what i want to dress like i want a dog so bad i wish i had lips like that my lips I, you know my whole life i've been wanting lip filler but i will not let myself get lip filler why don't I look like that? I look crazy when I do this. This whole vibe, this whole aesthetic is what I want. I went to the mall yesterday and I I couldn't find shit. There's this outfit and then there's that outfit. Like those are my two personas. Oh my God. Stop. This is what I was afraid of. Oh. This is so cute. It's like the mix of the two aesthetics that I'm into. I have been trying to get Adidas Sambas for ages. I miss the launch every fucking time. But you know what makes me even more mad though? I was able to get them for my husband. Now he has Adidas Sambas and I don't. It's a cute outfit though. I like it. I love looking at people's Pinterest boards if I can. That It really tells you about a person. We're done scrolling through Pinterest. I'm about to cry, so. Okay, that's the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry this video was a mess. Also, I'm really bad with outros. Here's to being consistent. Please, I'm begging you. Look out for more wellness videos, cooking videos, thrifting videos, vlogs, skincare, I don't care. Everything, anything. All right, bye. Love you.